Oh, quit. All right. I think we are live. We are live. We are Hello. live. We are live. We are live. So um, I'm here tonight with Jennifer from um, Water and Fire Tarot. You know that because I've put it everywhere on all my social media and on my channel. So let me get her on and let's see. I have 10 people here in the room. All right. There she is. <laughs> there she is. And I know that there will be people that you know here, Jennifer, and, um, and my subscribers as well. And you can see my screen, right? I can see you. Hello. Yeah. So this is a, a first hello. Can you see that on yep. the screen? Oh, okay, great. That's good. Um, now, how shall we start? Um, well. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing, Jennifer and I um, talked, of course, uh, a couple of times about what we would like to talk about. And um, the then I ended up at one point saying, look, Jennifer, if I forget what I'm supposed to ask you, you just keep talking. <laughs> so that will happen. But um, I uh, came over uh, Jennifer's um, channel because I was looking around and, and we readers often look around and you look for your signs and you see what other people are doing. It's curiosity. And I found this spunky lady, this spunky lady who just <laughs> speaks her mind. And I thought, oh, oh. <laughs> and I thought, okay, let me get her here on this show. Um, this is, we've got somebody here from Norway, Michigan. Hello. Um, we have Mimi and Lemurian star child Gracie there saying hello to us. So tell me, um, when, when exactly did you join YouTube? Was it before, or let's say, was it after you had started reading professionally or did that happen together? It kind of happened together. So I, you know, like a lot of readers, I know we've, we've heard this, but I went through an, a, an awakening. I had some kind of trauma to the heart. And so yeah. I was um, looking for answers. And, you know, my mother was very spiritual. My mother uh, read cards when I was little. And I always had a curiosity of astrology, and I always re I always researched it. I always felt super intuitive. Did you say and that your mother used to read when you were young? Um, do you remember at what age? Oh, I was young, like five, six. Oh, seven. so so really early. So she didn't make uh, like she openly used to read. Yeah, she did. I mean, she didn't read for you know she didn't do it as a business or anything like that. Uh, uh, but okay. And then just through college and throughout my life, I just always, there was a strong interest of certain traits to their zodiac signs and why people act certain ways. And then I had that kind of intuitive streak and, you know, life got in the way, right? I went to college, I got married, I did all these things and kind of just pushed it under the table. And, um, you know, I don't know if people believe in twin flame soulmates, but I kind of came in contact with an awakening experience and, uh, was left looking for a lot of answers. When did that happen? I, when? How when? Long ago? Um, so I would say, oh, May 2016-ish um, or 17. I, I uploaded my 17 because I uploaded my first YouTube reading for Tarot May 2018. Is that right? Yeah, because it was a year in May. Okay, so, so yeah. Yeah, but before I did it, I just did a lot of research. I studied the cards for about six months. Um, and then I said, you know what, let me go over to Instagram. And I started offering free readings for people just mm. because I wanted to see if this was my niche. I didn't want to go on YouTube and, you know, completely just not and how know. How did that about, work you know. out? How did it work out? It, it, I mean, it worked out really well. People were kind of like, wow like you know stuff my sister doesn't even know my family didn't know like how did you know this and so and then i just kept asking spirit for the communication to move forward is this what you want me doing and i just mm -hmm. kept getting yeses everywhere because um so. i saw i you know slipped through a lot of your different videos and in the beginning when i first found you i saw that you worked with the uh, cross what is it called the, the celtic cross the celtic cross and it's something i don't do and um, then, I, but but recently, I saw you rose using rose and using two different decks and clarifiers. 
and it seemed like there was a whole story on the table, you know. And, I like to and tell it story. seemed, you know, well, for someone, let's say, on the forget I'm a reader, but for someone on the outside looking in, I thought, yeah, she's getting, you know, she's going in into those cracks and she's finding, you know, the reasons why that, you know, and it was, it was like watching, like reading a novel. It was pleasant. That was really nice. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, because I don't. I, I, I love, I'm a Scorpio, so we're FBI agents, right? We, we, we FBI need to uncover, agents. <laughs> right? We need to uncover and we need to find out why. I don't want to just throw cards down and say, yeah, you got ghosted, good luck. Let's find out why. Let's get into like the psychology. Let's analyze it, right? Hold on, so, hold on a second. Uh, Tracy tells us a crazy commercial's playing audio during your chat. Is there, uh -oh. uh, what is that? Can, is, does everybody hear that? Let me see if I can. Is that on your end? Let me see. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Okay. She will be back. Southern California. Let's see. What else do we have here? Mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mom. I hear her saying mom too. There she is. All right. Let's. Uh, the person who talked about the commercial, Tracy, can you? Let us know if you're still hearing that. Um, let's say that um, this person is not, they don't, they don't hear it. No, nothing. That's okay. So we're on. We're on again. Okay. So so we're back into the, your channel. All right. Um, you, I saw you, use, you started using Rider Weight um, tarot decks, and then I saw different tarot decks that yep. you used. Um, is, do you have a preference? Do you have a specific um, preference for? I do. I do like the Rider Weight. I love the Gilded Tarot and the Rider Weight for uh, learning tarot. Yeah. Um. I think that the. I just. I don't know. I love. I have the. Um. The Borderless that I'm. I've been using lately. I love this. I like that matte finish. Mm -hmm. Um. I. You know. I don't really have a favorite. I just kind of yeah. like to mix it up. You know, they're all children. <laughs> they're the same. <laughs> they're all children. I love um, the I love just the art and the illustrations, and I love how you can depict a different story or a different meaning depending on the deck. Right? Yeah. It's not just one meaning. Mm -hmm. I, I I'm very um. I like to look at at the illustrations on each deck because it can have a different meaning depending on the situation and yeah. the clarifiers and everything. I don't like to just say Seven of Swords is this or that. It depends, right, yeah. on the, on the deck and the illustration and very interactive with my cards. Mm -hmm. And it's just intuition too. When um when we started talking, you were talking how you you um started describing how you use um astrology and you're working with astrology more and more let me ask you how you got to the astrology mixing astrology to tarot did you find that that was a natural um uh, consequence and i'll tell you why i'm asking because sometimes when i hear astrologers talking about the degrees and i get a headache you know <laughs> and it goes against my the, the energy work that I do. In this case, in your case, how did that come in? Um, it actually, it's kind of recently. Um, when I was younger, I did a lot of reading on it. But as far as using the tarot with astrology, I'm just now starting to get more into it. So um, that's something, that's kind of my next step. I feel like with this... It's that's one reason I love tarot too is because I think it's the, it's continuous education like you yeah. never stop learning right you can you can take it to the next level you can learn something outside of just the cards and the meanings um, and so for me now that's getting more into the astrology side the house placements what does it mean why why is this this I mean it's it's so interesting. intense it's just you never stop learning yeah, I love it you never stop so learning. I'm getting there with astrology mm. it's well, not there I don't know if it, it's happened to you a couple of times it's happened to me where I put the cards down, I show the cards, and I know what cards are on the table, but the message that comes out is completely disjointed from the cards. And I, you know, it happened to me yesterday, I think, and I was wondering if that ha ever happens to you. You know, you know, yeah, you know. absolutely. I've even, and I'll talk about it on my channel, I've noticed lately, it's just, I don't even... And, you know, a lot of times people will refer back to a YouTube general reading and be like, well, for Aries, you said this. And, and the thing is, is like, because I'm so using my intuition now, 
Mm -hmm. I, that energy completely clears. So I can't remember a lot of the readings after I upload them because now what I'm noticing is that the words are just coming out of my mouth. And I even laugh about it during my readings. I'm like, whoa, did I just say that? You know, I don't, I yeah. probably don't think enough before I say something, yeah. but it's just the messages it comes are coming out. so quickly. It's so fast. The messages are coming so quickly, and it's it's real. Like it's almost like I have ter like you tarot have to threat. pull it out. Like I, I have can't a, stop. I have a question here, um, from, uh, from 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 Tracy. Okay, she says or he says Tracy could be a man or a woman. You tell me, Tracy. <laughs> do you use um? Do you gals use numerology in your readings? So go. Um. No. I don't, but I'm open to doing it in the future. Yeah. Well, the, the numbers, you know, sometimes, like I, we were just saying, the, the messages come up. So you're, let's give you, I'll give you an example. We've got the cards, and I don't use numerology. I wouldn't call it numerology, right? So I see the Empress comes up, it's a three. Then the three of cups. Then the three of, you know, all the yeah. threes come out, plus the... Yeah. the the, the Empress, the three, and I thought, wait a minute, there's something there, and, and then yeah. you start looking at that, you know, and that's... And I was just, and I was going to say something to that point, like, I, I I have started learning, like, what different numbers mean within the tarot, you know, six okay. is this, eight is change, five is change, like, strife, conflict, like, I'm starting, I, I, I feel pretty comfortable with that, mm -hmm. and, and that is helpful, so when yeah. you're reading the cards, you can, if you're getting a lot of fives, it's like, oh, okay, there's yeah, some yeah, fives and here. sevens, <laughs> right, right, fives right, right. and seven, so, well, we can, um, yeah, Jennifer and I are going to continue re reading and talking, but um, please come and ask questions, anything that you, you know, want to ask Jennifer. I'll just keep the running tab with the, um, the chat so I can find the questions. But um, so you were meant, you mentioned that your mother read and you were very young when you, you knew that she um, read as well. Um, but she never read professionally you said no she didn't she just read books on it and she had a deck you mm -hmm. know and then later in life when I was probably a teenager a little bit older it was like oh tarot's evil I can't do that anymore uh -huh. it was like she did like a complete switch I'm like what the what is going on here so she did one of those she pulled one of those but um yeah so but when I was very young she was she was into and she could read palm like she could like oh, read her palm and, how yeah, interesting. she was into all that stuff how interesting so, well, well, if you um, had a choice, right? So let's say that you're in this life, you're in Texas, and you're doing your channel, it's successful, and you have a choice of how to make your channel go one way or another. What would you like to see on your channel in the future? More of. Um. Oh, I got her stymied. She stopped talking. Oh, <laughs> Must the be Queen of Wands energy is like, whoa. Um, <laughs> so, uh, no, but uh, I'm, I'm getting more into teaching tarot. So ah. I'm going to start offering more um, ways to learn tarot. There'll be links on my website for that. Um, mm -hmm. I would like to start um, kind of talking more about my journey as well. Like, I don't want to go into, I mean, because my channel is about tarot and it's about readings and my intuition and helping people and healing and all that good stuff. But I wouldn't mind going, I'm going to go live more too. I'm mm -hmm. going to start doing well, more live Well, let's talk readings. about your journey. Okay, we are all on a journey and not to be, you know, get your secrets out, but but you mentioned this to me twice, you know, about your journey. I asked you, you know, well, what would you like to talk about? Well, I'd like to talk about my journey. And this is the third time I'm hearing it. So I'm thinking there must be something there you really want to get out. What is it? It is. Yeah. Because, you know, and I have no problem saying when I was going through a really difficult time, I was desperate for answers. Like I was hurting. I was yeah. really hurting. And I know that a lot of people that you know, that we're helping are hurting a lot. And I just want people to know, and it sounds like such a cliche, yeah. but if there's a way to get the message out that it's not hopeless, you know, there, yeah. we are all going through this journey for a reason. And I am proof that if you ask your guides or whomever you believe in, if you get it out there and give their, them permission to give you those answers and to help you, they will. It's yeah. just, it may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen the next day. 
but it, it can happen and you don't have to go through that stuff alone. Yeah, you have Anna's, to find your niche. Yeah, Anna uh, is niche. Um, commenting, uh, saying it's so aggravating to her when people think tarot is evil. Uh, it's, um, that's gaslighting, you know, at its best. Yeah. Um, let's see. What it, else? it is what you allow it to be. It's yeah. like any type of spirituality. If you go into the dark side of it and you allow that dark energy, what are you using it for? Right. Okay. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't have, it's not evil. And, and somebody asked me that during a live chat, do you have demons and try to come in and all this stuff? I don't allow it. Yeah. I well, don't allow it. We have a question about that right now. Um, uh, Jules says, does energy... For example, yeah. negative energy. Stay I with know you. you're going to ask. <laughs> after a reading. If it does, how do you release it if it stays with you, the negative energy? I'll tell, and I'll tell, you want to answer that? No, no, this is a question. Okay. You, you uh, answer. Go ahead, Jules. Yeah, no, and I'll, and I'll tell you because I'm such an empath. I have a lot of water in my chart. And y'all, I do. Like, I get down after doing, if I, I, I'm not one of those readers that can do like 10 readings in a row. I have mm -hmm. to take time in between my readings because I feel that energy. I laugh and I say when I do 30 readings a day, it's like I've been broken up with 30 times a day or cheated on 30 times a day. So I feel y'all's energy. Sometimes I even, I've even, a couple times I broke down and cried during a reading because yeah. I just, I feel it. So to answer your question, I take a lot of salt baths. I pray. I ask for protection before every reading. I ask to please release the energy after my readings. It's just constant. It's constant work on yourself and to protect your energy so that if I'm down, I can't read for y'all. So yeah. every once in a while, I ha if you see me disappear for a week, it's because I need a little downtime. I got to get back up. Yeah, yeah. So it affects me. It does. Yeah. Like I tell my um, clients, all you have to do is say no. You really have to say no. Yeah. And it's, sometimes it's difficult. You know, it really is difficult. I, I see here. Um, now, listen to this question. Jennifer, Alex writes, everybody is here to help everybody else in the tarot world, in my opinion, from what I've seen. Um, go ahead. Can you want to comment on that? <laughs> I'll give you the boiling potato, I'll the hot potato, and then I'll take it back. <laughs> Do you want the Queen of Wands answer or the Queen of Cups answer? I'm the that. Queen of Wands. You're the Queen of Cups. <laughs> but I'm also very Queen of Wands, Aries Moon. So... You know, it depends. Do you want it soft and loving or do you want the, you know, no. Um, I don't know that that's a true statement. I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we're laughing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, because we were just saying how it's very difficult in this YouTube world and in the world of readers so close together. There's so much energy, so much, so many different kinds of energy. And we have both, she and I, been targeted uh, negatively and it uh, everyone is it's just the company that you keep you know if you um, I know for a fact um, shaman let's say shaman journeys if you go healing um, you go for a healing session somewhere that is really fertile ground to get a lot of negative energy uh, with you because it just comes from everywhere from the people there so that's the short answer. <laughs> Just the short answer, Alex. Um, yeah, I mean, you you hope that people are coming with great intentions, right? We all do. Um, but you know, spiritual attacks are real. I I mean, they are. People have been. You have to protect yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. All right. Now let's see. Um, uh, it's. Uh, all right. Let's see what we have here. I don't want to foment anything. Ness is saying it's competition and people steal info from other readers. Well, you know, it's like a poet who um, is accused of plagiarism. Um, and I have to say this. Yesterday I put out a Scorpio, the Scorpio video. I, I, I saw it. I loved well, it. Well, the problem was the end was all left out silent because at one point I said, Scorpio, look. The universe is calling on you, and I, I. This is what I did. Da 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 da. And now they're gonna, they're going to silence me again. And they said that I plagiarized some rapper, and the whole rest of the video was silenced. 
<laughs> so, I mean, you of all people. Yeah, I mean, funny. Not. It's funny. Um, let's see, Alex. Here again. He's there. He is. Um, is it like being an empath before we knew we were empty? Negative energy. I always see the good. I used to think it was a curse, but I see the blessing in it now. Thank you. Um, I guess if. If I'm not mistaken, Alex, you, you maybe it's a question of um, the the glass half empty and half full, you know. I think, but um, I guess if you I think, know what your intentions are and keep them the way you want them, go ahead, Jennifer. Yeah, no, just... I was just gonna say I think that anybody is open to receive the messages. I do feel like more some people are more of an open portal. But I think that a lot of people push it away subconsciously. They don't even realize that they have that. Um, that I don't want to call it a gift, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. they have that within them yeah. to be able to get the message out and help other people. But you have to really embrace it. And I, I feel like a lot of healers, readers, empaths, whatever, it takes going through something pretty traumatic yeah. or almost like an awakening. We call it a tower moment, right? Before you can kind of dive into it. At least for me, it does. Um, C is saying, next to one sun sign, which is next strongest? Depends on the reading. If you're looking for love, I like to look at moon or Venus. Um, I, listen, and, and I feel like everybody's different. I will tell you, I feel like your moon sign is so important. I feel, and that's just my opinion. That's just how I look at it. I feel like you are your moon sign. That's just, I mean, I'm all Aries. I think I'm much more Aries than Scorpio, but that's just me. Well, now we have, um, let's see. You have to have integrity. Yeah. You have to have integrity, Robbins says. Yeah. It, that, that, that's in everything, though. It's really not only in this field, is it? I mean, yeah. every kind of work has to have um, in integrity. Um, and you have to go into it with a neutral frame of mind, too. If you've got all kinds of emotional stuff going on, you got to take a step back before you can try to, right. you know. Right. Um, let's say, let's say, is there another, here you go. Sharon says, um, I, I think it is spreading strength and love to people when we read. Um, I, perhaps... What do you think? What let's say um, if if you had one word to describe your type of reading, Jennifer, what would you say? What, what would that be? And I use the what word would, spunky. What, what would you say? What well, I said spunky. <laughs> I said she's spunky, even in the re the way you know she's passing out the mom. Well, you know the mom word. You're saying mom to everybody. I'm thinking, oh, how cute. She's sort of patronizing. It's not really patronizing the people. Mm -hmm. It's being, you know, like chummy, you know? It's like, what would mom tell you to do, right? Right. I mean, it's, I would say that my readings are very direct and to the point. Yeah. I think my readings, I can be your best friend. I can be your mom. I can be your neighbor in the reading. I can be, you know, your counselor, your therapist, your friend. You know, I'm just, it depends on the reading. And it depends on the message that I'm seeing, who needs the message? What is the message? It, for me, it's never the same. It, yeah. It's, you know, you never get a dull moment with my readings. Mm -hmm. I feel sometimes I have to be a little strict and sometimes I'm weepy and emotional. It's just, I'm not going to try to be something I'm not, you know, I let it out. Let me ask you something. Um, you mentioned before to me, you said, um, I'm going to start going live more. Um, and, even when you don't go live, let's say, did you ever have trouble when you put down a spread looking at it and you weren't sure what that was all of a sudden and you were shocked as if the cards were saying something that you weren't ready to give out, not to relay or did, or doesn't that ever happen to you? I haven't had that happen because I don't really... I don't ever feel the need to hold. And I think what you're asking is, have I ever seen bad news in a reading and kind of pulled back? Like, I don't want to really deliver that. Is that sort yeah. of what you're. Yeah, because yeah. the cards were so negative. 
say, yeah. for example, no, you get such I do, negative I just say, I just, I just say it. I mean, I have been known to apologize. Sorry, this was such a harsh reading. Right. Okay. You yeah. know, that's what I wanted to time. get at. Mm-hmm. But, but I think that people who come to my channel or my subscribers, they know that when they come to a reading, that's what they're going to get. That's what they're going to get. I don't yeah. have, you know, I don't paint a picture mm-hmm. of, sweetness and and this and that i just i gotta deliver the truth right let's let's talk about right you're you're with your clients and um you read for many people like i do um what was the if you don't mind sharing the reading or or the revelation let's call it a revelation the revelation that you gave the client that was true or that you knew and you couldn't know unless you were psychic um I'll give you an example. Uh, a woman who, a long, long time ago, who had worked with me with La Vida Sibilla deck, this Italian oracle deck, I asked the same question to her. And she said, well, the, the most, uh, the thing that really surprised me was when a client uh, came to me and asked me where her son was. She couldn't find where her son was. And she said, he's in jail. And he was in jail, you know, and that was really surprising to her that it was, you know, true in the end. Did anything like that ever happen to you? Yeah, and actually it was before I uploaded to YouTube, I was doing some of those Instagram readings and I read for a friend who had been friends with on Instagram for a long time and it showed, I won't go into detail what it showed, but it showed some very personal things that went on in her life about 10 years ago that nobody in her family knew her Mm -hmm. sister who's her best friend she like literally told she messaged me she said I had to pull over in my car when I was listening to your reading because she's like that's never nobody knew that and I specifically pointed out what had happened and she was just like and then another one that comes to my mind is the, the client was going through a divorce, a very difficult custody battle. Mm. And there was a very strong feminine presence coming through in the reading. Mm-hmm. And she was an Aries. I could tell. I knew who she was. I think it was the Queen of Wands or something mm-hmm. in the outcome. And it showed this woman giving advice and spiritual guidance and, you know, very strong energy. And it comes to find out that the client's mother had passed away like mm. a week before the reading, and she was an Aries female. Ah, and you told her. You did tell her. Yeah. Wow. I was like, who's this? Yeah, I, yeah. And I said during the reading, I was like, I'm getting a very strong feminine Aries. It's a queen of wands. I know it's an Aries. I, I, I could tell that I knew that they passed, but I didn't want to say it in the reading. So after the reading, I messaged her, and I was like, who is this like strong female presence I'm feeling? And she's like, oh, my mom was an Aries, and she passed away a week ago. Two or go or something. Have you um, so, ever had uh, people ask you questions that you didn't want to reply to? A couple of times. I don't like doing. Um, I don't like doing health readings. You know, somebody's asked before their mother was really ill, and when is she, you know how long does she have, and yeah. this and that. I don't like going there. I don't yeah. think it's my. Bu- I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't do it. And then also. Somebody had, a, they wanted to know when they were going to get like an inheritance from their mom that was about yeah. to die or something. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'm not, no, I'm not doing I get that. a lot of those questions actually. And they're all about, you know, when are my parents going to pass? Because then I want to, you know. Yeah. I mean, I just, that's not, it's fine. I just, that's not my deal. I'm just not going to do it. But. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, let's say that, um, it, well, this is a, in the YouTube channel. Uh, in YouTube, in general, they say it should be for, uh, it's not for children, okay? In my channel, it's over the age of 18. So I yeah. just take for granted that all of the people watching are 18 years of age and older. Have you ever had a young person come for a reading? Um, 18, younger, a really young person. No, I haven't. But when I first started my YouTube channel, I had a mother email me and complain. Um, She loved my channel, but she didn't like my mouth uh, because her niece and nephew were always in the background listening. My response was they shouldn't be listening to tarot. Yeah. Yeah. Shut it off. Sorry. Yeah. Shut it (laughs) off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Are there any questions, ladies and gents? Let's see. Um, Let me see. Let me ask you, have you uh, invented your spreads have you started to look at spreads in a different way i don't know 
I remember starting my channel and I used the pyramid spread. I used a pyramid yeah. all the time. Um, yeah. Have you, have you thought of using spreads for specific reasons? Yeah, I did. Um, so I started with the Celtic spread, which is what I use, but I tweaked it. I tweak the spreads a little bit, like the Celtic spread. I do it a little bit differently than maybe another reader, depending. Oh. Um, I, you know, I, ha I don't, and I know a lot of readers though. They, they're on a on a cycle, like a um, a schedule. How do they feel? Or is this person going to return? And they'll do general or whatever. I just throw cards down, mm -hmm. and it's like whatever comes out. And I know people want to see more singles readings, and they want to see the. And it's just like you know what? That's not. My channel. I'm just throwing cards out. And what do you mean what, more singles readings? Um, I, well, because I think for um, the readings, a lot of people feel like the readings are when you're already dealing with somebody or an ex or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I get it. Like clients or, or people that are watching the readings on YouTube. Well, what if I'm single? What if I'm not dealing with anybody? Yeah. And I get that. You know, I totally get that. But my thing is most of the people that are watching my readings, yeah, they're in pain. Or they want answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Or else they wouldn't so, be watching. Yeah. When I was happy in love, I wasn't watching. You know, I was out with him. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Look, um, I'm getting a lot of people saying, um, "Can we ask a personal question?" So I'm going to write it and say it once and for all. Um, if you have to ask a personal question, ask it, and I will relay it and make it a general question. But not personal questions, for example, will my, is my husband uh, going out with another woman? Or uh, will I meet somebody this year? None of that, yeah. because it's a general, you know, we have, there are a lot of people in the room. Um, let's see, let's see, no coding up. There's a Elaine that says that she appreciates it when, um, when you always tell it like it is without sugar, sugar coating or giving a false sense of hope. In your last cancer readings, you nailed my ex. Spot on. Toxic. New love is, is my new boyfriend. I don't know if, he, if that is for me or for, for is that probably for Jennifer? I, I can't remember after I finish the readings. Um, I have to go and. I can't. Them again. I know. I can't. I can't remember either. I have to just kind of release that energy. But um. I've got an interesting question here. Ness asks, Do you ladies hear spirit or just? feel spirit and get visions you want to go ahead with no, that no no you this is for you you're the highlight um, i don't hear spirit i feel spirit and i get a lot of signals and you know it's funny um because every once in a while i'll take a step back and i'm like all right are you sure you still want me doing this like this is my path like let's make let's check in i check in with spirit right and the way that spirit communicates with me is about every six weeks or so when I'm doing spreads for YouTube or clients, I start getting double clarifiers on the same card. And I know mean, that's how. What do you mean double, double clarifiers? Okay. And it'll happen like every reading. Okay. So let's say in, let's say the situation in the root of the reading is the page of pentacles. When I go to clarify it from another deck, it'll clarify with the page of pentacles. Ah, and yeah. Like, yeah. That happened to me yesterday. Yeah. That's pretty rare. That doesn't yeah. happen a whole lot. But it does but happen. Every six weeks or so, it'll <laughs> happen, and it'll happen in every reading throughout the day for me. And I, Look, that's spirit communicating I've with I've got me. four questions in a row, so b brace yourself. Um, this is Annette. Do you feel if you're a medium, you are a better tarot reader than if not? A medium or a channeler is someone who gets messages from a specific spirit when someone asks you, look, my grandmother has passed, I need to ask her a question, ask her this, and then relay the question. If you can do that, uh, the question is, do you think your tarot, uh, your reading would be enhanced? I don't know, N not necessarily, because I'm not, I, I think I they're agree. two very, yeah, I think they're two very separate things. I don't, mm -hmm. I can't, I can channel, but I'm not trying to channel. That's mm -hmm. what's funny is I'm doing tarot readings and I got people coming in that I didn't ask for them to come in, but yeah. they're coming in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I remember you telling me that. Look, I have a question about something you said before. Sunday Rose says, during that period of study before starting on Instagram, what way did you study independently or with a mentor? 
Uh, I found a reader or two on YouTube that was phenomenal, and I just watched every bit. Not my son, not my son, not just my son's line, but all of her readings. And um, I went to her for several readings. She, um, I think it's good to pick a reader that really teaches the tarot as well mm -hmm. through their cards. And I try to do that too. And I probably did that because of who I chose to kind of be my mentor. Um, but, and then just a lot of readings. And then, so at the beginning, it was like, okay, the Page of Pentacles means this. Okay, the Ace of Cups. But now, it's all, gay, like, no holds bar. I throw out those cards, and my Ace of Cups may not be your Ace of Cups. Yeah. It's what I'm hearing, and it comes out of my mouth. Yeah, so. Elaine, who was commenting on the uh, cancer reading, was meant um, for you. That, oh, good. Okay. Yeah, she said you told it good, like it was. Um, let's say um, there is Sharon who just lost her mom, um, and she's asking you, Jennifer, if you can feel if she's okay. That's a personal question. You might want yeah, to deal with that. Yeah, I'm comes. probably not the best to try to channel that energy. Uh -huh. it, like I said, when, when that energy comes in, it's because that spirit is at that moment trying to come through. I, yeah. Okay. I have, I'm sorry for I'm very sorry for your loss. Okay. Aquarella 11 says, do you do spreads for yourself when you have an issue? How you, in, um, how, how you interpret without not getting your personal emotions in the middle? This is a loaded question. Go ahead. Um, I don't read for myself anymore. And I kind of got burned on that recently through a, a situation. I said, I'm not going to read this energy. I'm going to let it happen. I'm going to let the universe take over. And it bit me in the butt. So maybe I'll start reading for myself again. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I typically don't because I, I feel like I'm, my energy is biased. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't like reading for myself. Mainly because I think I don't want to know the truth if you want the honest truth. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, Claire Audio, and that says, that means, where did the question go? Oh, <laughs> it's so small, I see it hidden behind here. Hang on. Uh, she said that you're Claire Audience then, because you, you, you hear it, right? Instead of feeling yes, it. Yes, I hear, I hear it, and I feel it, and I just, I get signals, I get signs all the time. Yeah. Yep. Okay, um, let's see. Let me ask you this. Um, have you ever worked with um, healing energy, hands-on people, or sending uh, healing energy, um, literal energy from your hands? Having uh, Because I know that you can do it. I mean, I, I feel that even just talking to you, to tell you the truth. So I'm, and when I asked you, do you have any idea of where your channel is going? If you don't, I think that that is something that you might want to look into. Uh, we'll have to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't, actually. I have well, not. I have not. Yeah. Yeah, because um, if you can keep your energy in a, a specific place like you are now, uh, that is something, If of course, you know, the hygiene, the psychic hygiene you have to have all the time. But that's somewhere, that's something that is very powerful, I think, you, you um, and especially for children, for children. Okay, um, yeah, all right, yeah. I like that. Um, I'm going to dive into that. Oh, let's see. Um, Aquarella is asking something I just don't understand. It's, I'm a tarot, oh, Aquarella is a tarot reader. Wait, there you are. I'm a tarot reader also and an Aries moon. I need to know. Oh, I need to know what, I guess what we just asked before, if you re read for yourself. That's right. It was the same question. Yeah. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't like to do it. I don't do it anymore. Um, Sunday asks, uh, Sunday Rose asks, what kinds of, what kind of signs does spirit send you? I see, like I said before, about every six weeks or so, the way spirit can, because I asked right before, I said, look, I need signals, I need signs, give me something that I get, I know mm -hmm. that you're still telling me I'm on the right path with all of this. And I, like I said, it's not, y'all can think I'm crazy, but that's the signal, that's the communication we have. I get double clarifiers on every reading and it, it'll happen like 20 times in one day. Mm -hmm. Do you know how rare that is for that to happen just once a day? Yeah. So, and all, and a lot of consecutive numbers. I know we all kind of see that, but I, it's crazy. I mean, I'll see consecutive numbers until I'm just a looney tune. It drives me crazy. 
I have another <laughs> question here. It's a long one. Let me see if I can get it. Um, this may sound strange, but my bed vibrates when I go to bed. Oh, uh, are y'all there? Hang on. Oh. There she is. Okay. My bed vibrates when I go to bed. Has that ever happened to you ladies? I've had a lot of experiences throughout my life. Yes, it was <laughs> earthquakes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's happened, but there was an earthquake. <laughs> I was going to say, I have a train that's about, you know, a hundred yards from my house. So yeah, my, my, my room vibrates all the time, but no, <laughs> but not for psychic um, reasons, no. not for spirits. Um, let's see, here we go. Here's another question by Sharon and she asks, I'm seeing loads of angel numbers, um, that keep coming up and off. I'm on and off. I'm trying to understand the messages looking up in Google. Um, this is common. Does a lot of people told me they see numbers, yeah, numbers, yep. and um, well, not only rep repetition of certain things. You know, if you go down a street and it's called Lawrence Street, or uh, and you turn around and you see something, the word Lawrence as a brand name, and that word keeps coming up, and then that has a specific meaning. Yeah, yeah, um, but the repetition of things usually does. And I don't, I don't look so much more into like what the actual number means. So if you're seeing 11, 11, I just, you know what? I just take it with a grain of salt. And I'm like, you know what? I know spirit's trying to communicate with me. I don't care if it's a seven or a one. Yeah. And I'm sure there's a meaning in between, you know, with the numbers or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I just, I know something's going on. I'm going through an awakening of some sort. Annette has a question. She says, have you ever used um, a pendulum? at the same time using tarot cards for valid validation instead of other cards? Um, for personal use, not for, during my readings. For personal um, use, not for the readings. I, yeah, to communicate with my, my grandmother passed away about a year and a half ago and mm. I used the pendulum to communicate with her. Ah, interesting, good. Scorpio, fellow Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a Scorpio as well. <laughs> Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, I think, uh, look up numbers. Hang on. Um, here you go. There's another My question. My dog is here trying to say hello, you guys. Oh, the, your dog? <laughs> yeah. Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> She's a girl. She's a Leo. Show us. See if she will. I don't know if she'll come up. Let's see. Come here. Oh, beautiful dog. Beautiful, Thank you. Beautiful dog. <laughs> okay, so Unique Soul says, I felt it um I felt it a lot. I also hear things when no one is around, but um but a kitties, yes, repeat numbers. I I don't understand if I got that, but she's making a comment. It's not a question. She's heard it and uh the repetition hap it happens to her as well. Um uh, this is a question to you, uh, Coco says, uh, or Choco, Jennifer, I want to, um, to know what your sign is, please, if you don't mind, because your personality is amazing. I'm a Taurus, and the Taurus reading was amazing because I was sad when I was watching, but funny. Oh, okay, I'd like to make a comment on that. First of all, thank you, that's really sweet. I, I do kind of like to take a twist on the read because they can be very deep and they can be very emotional. And if I can make somebody smile just a little bit by using my crazy cuckoo references, you know, the Uber water, Uber, like whatever it is, I just, I want to make somebody smile because I know what it feels like to go through that very heavy energy. I'm not making fun. I'm not trying to make light of the heavy energy. I just want people to feel better, even if it's for like 10 seconds. Um, I am a Scorpio sun and I'm a Scorpio Mars, Scorpio Venus. Wow. wow. <laughs> and I'm an Aries moon and a Cancer rising. Wow. I don't even know all of those things for me. I don't. I don't, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It explains a lot. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand a lot more now. <laughs> um, you're getting a lot of compliments here. Um, let's see. Sharon says she's gorgeous. Woof, woof. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sharon. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, there was my dog thing. is gorgeous. I think she meant my dog is gorgeous, but yes. I'll take it. Too. Ah, the, do, the woof woof. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she is gorgeous. She really is gorgeous. How old She's is she? She's a gorgeous girl. 
She's six months, and she's chewing on my furniture as she's we so speak. She's so small, and she's such a big dog. I, she's that, huge. Yeah, she's huge she's dog. Huge. Um, there's another thing I wanted to ask you. Uh, apart from the hands-on that I, I think you're just going to skyrocket into, um, what about, do you do any kind of work locally in the sense do you, you receive clients on a one-to-one -one basis instead of using it uh, over the phone, reading over the phone, or reading in videos? Do you um, ever read personally one-to-one? -one? I haven't done in-person readings, but I am looking to collaborate with a couple local spiritual stores mm -hmm. where I'm probably going to start doing work for them and yeah. with them, kind yeah. of, you know, extra stuff to help out. Um, there's somebody that's opened a spiritual shop here in my area. I think we're going to collaborate. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's some stuff in the works. Yeah, no, that's it's interesting because on a one to one basis, it, it's really interesting. It gets really interesting. Um, what about um, you said in a local store? So in spiritual stores, have you ever thought of um, taking your show on the road? I don't know, in the sense that um, making branding it because I saw that on your um, website you and on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's on the website. You uh, sell things like T-shirts and things like that, right? Um, I have some merchant, some merchandise just on my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. some shirts and stuff, but, but they're you, not on my website. But, but were you? Um, did you ever think of make branding yourself to another level? You know, say yeah, um, um, yeah. That's also in the works. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, did you ever think of um, Houston is a big city of having your own little um, store or shop and uh, receiving... Or school or... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or school. Yeah. yeah, no, I... Yeah, I'm definitely working on some stuff. So there'll okay. be more to She's come not giving us sure. any secrets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I gotta protect... I gotta protect myself, you know. You're protecting no. yourself, yeah. <laughs> no, but there is... No, but there's... There's stuff to come, for sure. There's gonna Do be you have any things. questions for people... Um, that are watching do i have any questions um anybody that actually subscribes to my channel or watches any any new ideas for spreads you guys definitely leave those comments either now or what would people like to see more of because i that's the thing too it's like you got to keep it fresh and you got to change it up right mm -hmm. and especially i'm doing weekly readings i don't want people to get tired and bored i want to be able to still deliver messages that people want to hear and Good see question. And so I'm always looking for ideas for that. So, um, let's see. There's a question here. There it is. Um, have you picked up people with spiritual gifts? You should be using them for the collective and shared it with a customer. I don't get it. Have I'm not you, sure I understand. Um, um, Mimi, I'm not. We're not sure if we have understood. Have you picked up people with spiritual gifts? who should be okay. using them. For okay, I think I know what she's at. So maybe a client, in other yes. words, have I okay. read for a client and I feel, yes, I have. And a couple times. And the energy clearly showed that they needed to go into some sort of healing work and spiritual work. And I highly recommended it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm asked here um, by probably one of my subscribers, Sharon here, Jennifer. Um, what's your YouTube channel so we can subscribe? Thanks. Oh, thank you. It is Water and Fire Tarot. It's under her name, Water and Fire. I didn't put the tarot because then it would have gone out of the center. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I think she's clarifying her question. Have you read, there you go, have you read for people who have spiritual gifts, but you yes. didn't, uh, but you didn't know? It came out in the read. I've read for people and they were looking for guidance. They're like, what's coming in in the next year? What What does my career look like? What is my energy? Like? And it showed that they should be or would be going towards a more spiritual healing career that I've picked that up. Mm -hmm. And then if you're also asking, have I read for other readers or healers? Yes, I have done that as well. Okay. Um, I, there's a suggestion here, Aquarella. Um, she's saying, like, pick a card would be nice. Okay. I'm yeah. not sure I understand that. Please, ladies, gentlemen, explain. I haven't understood what pick a card is. 
So I think what it is, and my understanding, because I don't do them, is you take three decks or, or you take like three cards. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Um, and you say, so you make it a general, like, when is love going to come in? Okay. And if you pick you card number one. You ask the question. You yourself ask the question. Yeah. Like the reader, like you make a topic. Okay. You say, okay. so the topic of this, pick a card. When will I find love? When will I find new love? Okay. And you pick a deck. Number you one, pick number the two, deck. number three. You pick you, the deck. Uh, the, the viewer picks a deck or a card. Oh, so it has to be live. It doesn't have to be live. No, so let's just say I have a whole deck here, okay? Uh -huh. And let's say I have three areas. This is my first card. Yeah. Card number two, card number three. The topic for this spread is when will you find new love in 2020? Right. Which, which deck or which spot are you drawn to? Well, if you pick number two... You're ha you have somebody from the past coming back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, if you pick number three, you're never going to find love. Ace of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. So you just, you pick a card, whatever number you're drawn so, to. But that that's without interacting with the public. Right. You can do that as a pre-recorded reading. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now I get it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Um, Margaret says, I feel it's important to know your moon, sun, rising venus and mars to be able to navigate the energies for your highest good and for the collective also for deeper understanding would you agree absolutely okay absolutely anybody that is into tarot into readings into watching readings into learning tarot you need to know your moon and your your rising i feel like your moon is who you are again that's just my opinion once I found out and I discovered my moon and my rising sign, I was like, oh, my God, it all makes sense now. Um, Robin, Everything makes sense. <laughs> Robin says, agreed, Margaret, but not necessary. I, I agree with you, Robins, um, I, I guess, <laughs> because people who don't know those signs, I'm still here. <laughs> um, right, exactly. There's another question here from Sharon. Jennifer, can you tell in this live if people are gifted in here, if you, if you can sense that? No. <laughs> well, it can, I, I know that you can see my screen and you see a running chat and it's very small for you. I, I myself have to go like that actually, to read I, it. You know, actually, I don't see, I just see the question as it comes up. I don't right. see a whole group. Okay, so you don't see the chat anyway. I can't see anybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, that was the end of that question, Sharon. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. What I else? mean, I could, I could sugarcoat it and be like, yeah, you're gifted. But, you, you know, I, yeah, I can't feel it right now. Um, I've got a question from Sunday Rose um, who says, what kind of work did you do prior to tarot? <laughs> If you want I was, to share that I was in sales for many, many years. I was a pharmaceutical dental sales supply rep. <laughs> oh, well, wow. A professional. A, you were a drug pusher. <laughs> Cor corporate America. Yeah. And you I were did a drug very, pusher. <laughs> I, a drug pusher. And I did very, very well. Yeah. I did amazing. I won trips and I exceeded goals and I, I you know, it was great. But Why I got did tired. You stop? I kept being, I kept thinking there's got to be a higher calling for me. <laughs> yes. Yes. So. Um, and here then I there's, am. Um, uh, Myra. Myra asks, do you two, do the two of you read for each other? <laughs> <laughs> we've never, <laughs> not yet, we've never read for each other. <laughs> we haven't. There is um, uh, many times I've read this over and over again. People, there are different dimensions, okay? The third dimension, this is a third dimensional world, right? It's heavy, very difficult. Uh, when you get towards the fifth dimension, and that's where most of the people who are watching here are because you're asking questions, that's when you would come and ask questions. But when you get up close to the sixth dimension, you answer your own questions most of the time. And uh, I agree. you don't really feel yeah. the need to ask others. That's where that's where I am too. Like I don't, and I'll have people come to me. You know, they'll email me other readers or just whomever they're learning. They're like, "Oh, do you need a reading? I'll read for you." And I'm like, "I don't yeah, really want yeah. it. I know. I don't want it. To be yeah. honest." <laughs> yeah, I'll live without it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, beautiful souls. That's complimentary. Yes. 
Um, Mimi's saying, I can't read it. Unless I put it on the screen, I can't. Jennifer, we subs love you because you're honest and blunt. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mimi. Sp I appreciate that. Spunky, spunky. Spunky, Let's see. yeah, that's for sure. Let's see if there are any other questions. Let's see. Um, uh, what's the name of, there you go again. What's the name of Jennifer's channel? It's under her name, Water and Fire Tarot. I should have wrote, written tarot. Water and Fire Tarot. Are there any suggestions, other suggestions for us as to what you would like to see more of? Um, Estrella is saying um, intuition is always key. Would you say, um, Jennifer, that it's... That you're an well, there are a lot of words. Okay, I'll, let me throw them at you: an empath, an empath, an intuitive, a psychic, or or just a reader. Just, but what would you do? You see, if there's any, do you think there are any differences between those words? I do. I'm not psychic. I'm mm -hmm. not psychic. Um, I'm very intuitive, and I'm very much an empath, and I know the cards. So I use that the combination of the three. Okay, hold on. So that means, all right? So you said you're a reader, you're intuitive, and you're an empath. Okay, what's the difference then with psychic? Because you just said right away, I'm not psychic. What what is it that makes a psychic? I think it is. I think that it's almost like a muscle. If I trained it and I worked it. Yeah. I could probably get a lot more downloads and messages and be able to probably dive into that realm uh, more. Okay, so so for you, the idea of being psychic has the ability to get information without the tarot, for example. Is, is that what you mean? I think so. If I were to do, try to do that right now, like if, if somebody threw a question at me and, and it was something that they were I was trying to dive into and get the answers for, I would have a really hard time doing it. Uh -huh. But I think that... I think that the ability is there. Mm -hmm. I just need to ask for guidance and spirit, and I need to embrace that. And I've actually had a reader tell me that before. Yeah. Let's see. There's um, Margaret says, I feel connection to source is key. Um, there are a lot of people just, you know, you tell me what you think, um, Jennifer. A Absolutely. lot of people would read that and not understand what source means, you know. So maybe, Margaret, you could explain or Jennifer what what do you think I the way that I'm interpreting that is source is your spirit guide whomever you pray to whomever you look for whomever you're getting those answers those downloads those messages mm -hmm. for me source is that source source is my grandmother my spirit guides my mm -hmm. the, you know the that help me dive into my intuition and be able to deliver that message. I'm a deliverer of the message, mm -hmm. right? It's just, it's coming out. It's just, and those are my spirit guides delivering that to me. And I have to be connected to them. And also too, it's very important to, it's like a muscle that you work. You have to work it. You have to mm -hmm. exercise it. You have to communicate to your spirit guides or again, whomever you communicate with, right? Whomever you believe in. Um, okay. And I also feel like it's very important to give them permission to bring you those messages because mm -hmm. they ha you have to be an open portal. And that's part of it is allowing those messages to come in. I he, see Alex is asking um, spreads about what we need to focus our spiritual growth on spreads about what we need to focus our spiritual growth on spreads for encouraging self uh, I, th I think this is a question um, um i think that's a is that a, i think that's a recommendation maybe for different uh, readings right. that i could do absolutely i'll make a note of that one yeah spreads yeah. for encouraging self-growth yeah absolutely i'm starting to do more advice in my what, what's the best advice yeah yeah let's see jules asks a question um, and says, do you tend to use the same deck of tarot cards most of the time, or do you use different decks depending on the reading or the mood? Just the mood. I have a crate, I have a cart here next to my desk where I do my readings, and it's just whatever I'm feeling. There's no, I don't have any special, like, magic mm -hmm. that I work, you know. It's just, hey, this one's pretty, I want to use this today. 
Regina <laughs> says, how do you choose or connect to your deck of cards? I don't, I don't really have any a special, you know, I have favorites. I love my Rider Waite border list. I love this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I don't know. For some reason, I'm drawn to use this quite a bit. Um, but I just, I probably have a hundred decks, you yeah. know, it just yeah, depends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's um, a lot of people say you have to sleep with them. And what I just do is keep them in my hands and play with them and play with them and play with Constantly. them over and over again and, and yep. touch them, feel actually feel, because I'm a touchy feely person. I have mm -hmm. to be able to learn. I need to touch something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and, I'm uh, always. I always have my cards in my hands. Yeah, I'm always, always in your hands, always touching in your them hands. and playing with them, and yep, and saging them. <laughs> Mimi's saying I had a phone reading last year, and she was spot on. Oh, hey, Mimi, I remember Mimi. Yeah. How are you? Thank you. Okay, Anna saying something. She says I think readings should be more geared towards situations rather than zodiac signs in my humble opinion uh yeah. can you go on i mean i can i can see that um yeah like if you did a specific spread um for those that are recently divorced or maybe those that are recently widowed or those that are in separation i mean i guess that's kind of maybe where you're going instead of like all right this is the weekly reading for scorpio maybe we do a weekly reading for those who are fighting addictions or toxicities or whatever. I don't know if that's what you're asking, but more specific to that person's healing energy that they need to hear the messages geared towards specific. Um, I'm, I'm going to ju jump into that. I found, um, I, I have my channel open a little longer, a couple of years more than you, but I found that when you write and you, instead of writing, because many years ago, um, I had other people on the channel and they told me that over the years, one of the things that has changed is that previously people, readers would just read for the general public without targeting a certain zodiac sign. But more recently from say five years ago onwards, it has been separated with zodiac signs. And it's, it's sort of like a fashion or a fad that, that started. And yeah. I wanted then at one point change that and I saw that people are they it seems that people need to hear you call them you know or because they they identify you keep how many excuse me how many times did you say I'm a Scorpio I'm a Scorpio I'm a Scorpio and you really identify with that and if you go and you want to hear a reading for you you know instead of and this is how I think people the, the people who watch you I mean I've done obviously I do each zodiac sign I have done collective readings mm -hmm. I've done you know readings for you know if you were ghosted or somebody took off you know what's the energy like I have done specific and I do feel I do find that the zodiac specific readings tend to get more used more people are more interested but yeah. you know yeah there's some uh, markets asking a question um Let's say, do you agree that the energies of the collective, do you agree that the energies of the collective with what's happening astrologically plays an influence in tarot readings? I think she's saying that astrology may influence tarot. What's happening astrologically can affect. Oh, tarot. hold on. Sorry, y'all. Um. I think so. Like a Mercury retrograde or something? Is that what you think yeah. she's asking? Or, yeah. Or, remember yeah. when we were, before we went on live, we were talking about um, the influence of um, astrology on tarot. And you know that every card, tarot card, has an astrological meaning. And right. all of the cards. And so they inextricably are linked. This is what I, I feel. But not all the time will that astrology come through as being important, you know? But yeah, yeah I think it is. I think it is. Let's it makes see. a difference. The energy, yep. The energy shifts. Uh, let's see. Here's something else. There's um, Aquarella. How do you handle clients or friends that are tarot-like dependents 
and want you to check every single event that happens. Thanks for your advice. We were mentioning, we were talking about this before. We, we were talking ball, about that. You pick up the ball. I don't allow it anymore. Yeah. If I get the slightest bit of I'm being taken for advantage of my energy, those are called energy vampires, and I just don't do it. I put my foot down. I, I haven't encountered that very much, but I won't allow it. It's too draining. I'm too much of an empath. You know, I'm not doing it. You know, yeah. there's more to me than just reading tarot cards. If I'm your friend, I'm your friend, and I'm the lo most loyal friend you'll ever have. But once you cross that that boundary, mm -hmm. there's no. um, the black swan intuition says more and more time passes, and I'm getting more sense in the, in pick a card readings generally. Um, I I don't know. I don't have any experience with that. I, I haven't done them on my channel. I mean, I've, I haven't even really watched any. I mean, I know they're out there, but I've, mm -hmm. I've seen, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen, a, I've, I've I've seen one or two, but I haven't, for mm -hmm. my own interest, I haven't gone um, in. I'll have to see. take a look. Anna, Anna says, um, agreed, but people also identify with what they are going through. Yes, of course, that is true. Um, there's something that Sharon wants to say. Great live stream, Christelle and Jennifer. Thank you, thank you. Thank uh, you. Really finding it interesting. Thanks for answering the question. Absolutely. Um, uh, there, she's Margaret's. Um, she's clarifying. Yes, like the moon controls the ocean tides. That's what she yep. means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely believe that. Um, yes. Let's see. Okay. I'll wait. Waiting for other questions. I'll um, ask you. Well, what about? Uh, I know you have uh, two children, and thinking back that your mom was a reader, and you, when you were really young, you caught up, you know, on that. You saw that. Um, do your children watch you read? It's they a personal like it. question. I'm sorry. <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> oh, they don't like it. Really? They don't like it. Well, you know, and a lot of it's the age that, you know, they think moms, they'd rather mom be in the kitchen making cookies, right? So I'm not my, exactly your conventional mother. My fa so. family thought I was crazy. They literally, yeah. I used to hear my, my ex say to my children, she's reading the cards again. Yeah. yeah. Light a candle. Mom's at it again. Yeah. <laughs> she's at yeah. it again. Let's so see. I think that my children's friends probably like it more than my children. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel they're both, um, I have a child that has a Scorpio moon and I have a child that's a Pisces uh, uh, huh. sun sign. And um, I think that they're going to be a lot more open to it than they realize. Yeah, the well, when, when their heart breaks one time. Or when they have a soul, their soul is crying. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to ask the people who are joining us? Just, I would just like to say thank you to everybody, really. Yeah, thank you to have, for having me on. I really appreciate that. I was, was flattered that you, would, that you would do that. It and then also just thank you for all the support and for people even joining us and asking questions and being interested. That, that makes my heart. Letter. Let's say so goodbye. Everybody join me and say goodbye and saying goodbye to Jennifer. <laughs> and bye -bye, um, Jennifer. yeah, just thank you to everybody. I really appreciate it. Well, you'll have, you'll, uh, there'll be another time uh, I'm sure in the future because we change so much, you know, um, I hope hold so. on. There's a something coming in here. Um, and that says, what if you seem to be connected to a certain number in a pick card, say two, most of the time, what do you do? When go with it too. Just yeah, keep go going with, with it. That's yeah. your number. <laughs> That's your number, yeah. And then um, here we have the black swan. Um, ho hold on. Like, I'm, now I'm getting a lot of the questions. <laughs> Margaret says, the four elements of water, fire, earth, and uh, water, air, earth, and fire, knowing your moon, sun, Venus, blah, 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 can absolutely help with understanding tarot readings indeed. There are free charts. That's true. That's true. Yeah, That's, just go to uh, Astrology Cafe. If you yeah. know your exact birth time, you can pull your house placements. You can pull your entire chart. So it's important. Yeah. Um, we have here um, Don Lu. There you go. Don Lu says, oh, 
he's coming out twice. Let's see. Don, question about Scorpio. We are a water sign, I know, but since Mars is a co-ruler, we are also a fire sign. Is that right? I don't know about that, but I do know that Scorpios are the fire sign of the water element. I there always describe Scorpios as being very fiery. So the Black Swan is saying, Jennifer, you are so amazing. I love you in your readings and you're spot on. You are, you oh, are honest. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it, Black Swan. Thank you so much. Uh, night, night, sweet dreams. They're saying goodbye. Thank you, Goodbye, Sharon. good night. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to block you out. Don't go away, Jennifer. I'll say goodbye okay. to you then. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Namaste. And until we read together again, like I always say, it's a threat. Bye-bye. <laughs>